Hello Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. You have the Knight of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Under the deck, Capricorn, is the Temperance card. All right, let's see what is going on here for you. All right, so you have the Two of Coins and the Three of Cups. So there's definitely communication here from someone uh, you could be very happy. You guys may be going out. What is the Three of Cups, please? Eight of Swords. But there may be something you don't see. Or maybe you're afraid to move forward, possibly. What is the Page of Swords? You have the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords, okay, and then the Page of Coin. All right. So there's definitely communication coming in. And again, it looks like maybe you are hesitant or you're not really sure what this person is wanting. You're going to get clarity, though. Maybe if you... I don't know, ask the hard questions is kind of what I'm thinking here or seeing. What is the Ace of Wands? You have the Sun card, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Okay. So again, it looks like you're optimistically, I don't know the what's like you're hesitant, you're not sure, but let, but yet you're still optimistic. But you're looking at this with, you know, your sort of truth. You're going to cut through anything, any lies, anything that you don't feel is sincere or real. And what is the Seven of Swords? You have the Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Hanged Man. One more, please, for the Hanged Man. You're seeing this differently with the wheel turning. Page of Wands. What is the Temperance card? Ace of Cups, Ace of Coin, Eight of Coins, Two of Wands, Nine of Cups. Yeah. Wow. What's the Eight of Swords? Why are you so hesitant? Let me see there. Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. All right. So... It almost, it's interesting because the Seven of Swords is the only one that kind of threw me, but it's almost like, okay, whatever this is that's coming in is good. Yeah, wow, every car, card I pull is good. There is new love coming in. There's work coming in. This is going to lead to happiness. It almost looks like it comes from one specific opportunity or offer or person. It's almost like you're excited, but you're afraid that it's too good to be true. Maybe that's what I'm feeling here. Um, you love this person or you'll be falling in love, something like that, or a good partnership is here with the Two of Cups. But again, you're asking the hard questions. You're kind of maybe suspicious. You know what I mean? You're really looking at it very hard. You're making sure that you're not making a mistake. You don't want to get burned. But there's definitely something here in the Ace of Wands. There's passion with this person. There is um, obviously a, a strong partnership. Now, either you or them secretly is what I'm seeing wants to be in a relationship. That's the interesting part because it almost looks like, it kind of looks like a relationship where you really like this person, but you're scared of getting hurt or you don't know their ult, you know, ulterior motives or vice versa. They, that's how they feel about you. But what you really want or what they really want or what you guys both want is to be in a partnership, have this new beginning. There could be a little bit of game playing here. Like someone is not being open. Like they're not being, um, sus su they're being, not being specific. They may be kind of secretive. They may be, I don't want to say they're playing games. I don't really see that here, but there is definitely something that there's some truth, maybe not being spoken, but because you have the queen of swords, the ace of swords, you're cutting through all that, the page of swords, you're cutting through all of it and getting to the core of what this person wants or what this relationship is about. Cause you don't want to get your hopes up is what I'm seeing here. You're afraid to move forward, but what's happening though, it looks like this relationship is turning into a solid commitment with someone who is willing to work on it. Now there could be actual work involved for somebody. This could be a partnership, but it's going to be that if you take this opportunity, you have wishes fulfilled. Okay. You have magic stream. So it's about basically that everything changes, it keeps moving, it keeps going. One thing, you know, things don't really end and new things begin. It's kind of like things just keep flowing and changing and there's always changes. But obviously with Magic Stream, it is a good change. It is a good flow. Things um, go from one one thing to the next. I'm just going to leave it there. I think you guys get it. It's a good it's a good card to get because it means things are moving and there's a lot, obviously a lot of magic around this whole opportunity or person it looks like a love relationship obviously for most of you i mean this is love could be work for a few but um it's a partnership in love let's see what the romance cards are saying you got express your love reconciliation 
and love yourself first. So again, free yourself. Um, I kind of feel like that's this energy here. Love yourself first. Are you going to get what you want out of this relationship? Are you, you're speaking your truth. You're telling them what you want. Um, it's got to fit what you want and not just about them. Kind of get like not settling. I don't think, think you need to though because what I'm seeing here in your reading looks pretty good. I don't think you're settling. But definitely make sure you get your needs met and ask the questions you need answered is kind of what I'm picking up also. Uh, let me go to this. Let me go to this deck for you guys. Capricorn. Capricorn. You have chariot, three of wands, the eight of coins, and the moon. Okay. So you do have the three swords under the deck with this. You may be feeling sad right now. I don't feel like this is what's coming in. I feel like for most of you, you're feeling that way maybe right now because if there is a reconciliation, someone coming back into your life, it's going to be good. We have Cancer and Pisces here, but again, it feels like this is going to move very quickly. What is the chariot? Seven of coins. Could be someone from the past, the past seven months, possibly maybe seven weeks or seven years. Let me see. What, what is the eight of coin? Ace of Cups. So it does almost look like your money and your love are tied together, possibly for a lot of you. Or again, Eight of Coins, like I always say, you know, it's not work. It's where you go and focus a lot of your time. You could be meeting somebody new. So again, for some of you, this is not necessarily reconciliation. This is new love. And you're going to be meeting them soon. Again, it could be someone who wants to put the effort and work into the relationship with Eight of Coins. What is the moon energy? But again, I feel this kind of suspicious, suspicious minds with the moon. Wondering about this person, this relationship. You have the star, so have hope. Three of swords, okay. Yeah, again, some of you, hey, you want to go slow. You're afraid to get hurt. Uh, you don't want to get your heart broken. Maybe you have in the past by this person, if it's a reconciliation for some of you. Otherwise, you just don't want to get hurt. Um, you want clarity with the page of swords. And again, so I'm seeing, again, moon energy. You're kind of confused, overwhelmed, suspicious, worried, all those things. The other deck showed me, though, that that's not really the case. But, of course, take it slow. Take it day by day. Knight of Coins. Okay. I'm just getting very strongly for some of you again. If it is a possible reconciliation, to definitely take your time and look at this relationship or person from all angles. Okay. What is the Ace of Cups? One more, please. What is the Ace of Cups? Nine of Wands. You're standing strong. Okay. And then Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Fool. Yeah, I'm just getting kind of guarded, but I feel like, again, you have new beginnings all over this reading, new possibilities, um, new things coming in. So I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.